In this afternoon's health alert, Children's Hospital Philadelphia says it has used gene therapy for the first time in the United States to, to treat genetic hearing loss. An 11 year old boy received the experimental treatment back in October. He was born deaf in both ears, but now he only has mild to moderate hearing loss in the ear that was treated. Currently, five hospitals are testing a similar treatment. The study could open the door for treating the other 150 genes that cause deafness. Wow, you know, joining us now to talk a little more about this and the treatment is ABC's medical correspondent, uh, Dr. Darian Sutton. And Darian, I'm just, it feels like a remarkable uh, uh, mm -hmm. achievement because we hear about implants mm -hmm. and other ways to deal with the issue, but the idea that gene therapy might right. be the answer. Talk to us about how this works. You know, it's incredible times to live in, especially these are things Things that we only thought about or dreamed about within medical school. So to see them live and uh, creating change is incredible. When we're talking about here is congenital deafness. So those who are born with a genetic form of deafness, it's about one in 500 children. There are many reasons why someone would be deaf, but we're talking about the type where you're born with abnormal cells that help transmit signals to your brain. And in this specific surgery, they were able to use uh, basically gene therapy to fix those cells mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. provides those who want it the opportunity to hear, which is absolutely Absolutely incredible. This boy who was treated 11 years old, yes. as you said, he suffers from a rare form of deafness. Yes. So could this treatment be broadened out to treat other forms or is it just the specific kind? Well, you know, that's the goal of this type of research. He's he's diagnosed with a specific form of deafness associated with a specific gene, but there's more than 150 genes that can cause deafness. So the work needs to be done to expand upon that. As for other causes of deafness, this might assist in the research and understanding them, but I I think this focuses on that congenital deafness. Let's talk about the next step. Where yes. are we going with this? You know, I think that there's ongoing research right now where now we talked about that 11 year old, but they're talking about even helping those who are even younger. Many mm -hmm. don't realize, but our language is built around the ages of two to five. And so although that child will be able to hear, his language will likely be delayed and very difficult. But if you can move this earlier, you might be able to not only provide hearing, but provide the opportunity for language and communication, which mm -hmm. might be easier. Is that why the study is focusing on children versus adults? That is a part of the reason why. And a lot of the things are cemented in the ways that we learn language and we communicate. Right. And so a lot of the focus tries to start early in terms of intervention. It I, sounds like, I'm sorry, go ahead. I was just going to ask how much of a game changer has been for the people that it is helping right now. I yeah. mean, what kind of results are they seeing in terms of the, the ability to hear again? Well, think about it. This person goes from not being able to hear much at all to being able to hear scissors clipping his, ha his hair. Uh, in one of the interviews, which I found so profound, they asked, what do you love to hear the most? And he said, people. Mm -hmm. Just Aww. being able to interpret those around sure. him, it helps him with communication and also lip reading and things such as that. So it's really, really fascinating. It's incredible. Medical breakthroughs are always just so awesome. They are. Um, we're, we're hearing that there are five other places that are doing similar studies. So yes. are we expecting to hear possibly as encouraging news coming out similar to this study? That's what we're hoping for. You know, there's studies that hopefully will be published soon. Mm -hmm. There's a big conference that we're, our medical unit is closely following early February. And so we're hopeful to see this research, to see more benefits, more opportunities, and more ways to help those who need it.